All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X. I have a new microphone stand and I uh, hope that it's not gonna cause too many issues here. I'm trying the best I can to keep myself in a pretty regular volume. Um, I have the microphone a lot closer to my face now, so ideally the audio ought to be pretty crisp. But anyway, let's uh, let's just get started with things. Um, before we continue with the main uh, story here, there's an Albed Primer that we can pick up that's sitting right here. And this is Albed Primer Volume 2. The secrets of the Albed language are revealed. P goes to P. P goes to B. Yeah. So there's that. Um, let's see, what else is there to pick up here? Let's see. So there's uh, actually some chests that we can check out out here. So due west is a chest that we can pick up right here that should have a phoenix down in it. And then, if we come here, and we check out the this back area, there are three more chests. We get some potions. A little bit of gill. And finally, we get another high potion. So, that should take care of all of the items that we can pick up right now. And now we should go talk to the Crusaders. Hey, you! You were attacked by Sin, right? Recently, was it? I think so. So, Sin can't be far, right? You're not hiding anything, are you? Why would I? If Sin's nearby, it'll attack the island for sure. But it hasn't. I wonder why. I'm sorry. I really don't know anything. To tell the truth, I uh, don't even know Oof. what the Crusaders are. You're kidding, right? Sin. The toxin. Gotta tell him who we are. Yes, sir! The Crusaders are sworn to battle sin. We have chapters throughout Spira, accepting all who wish to join our struggle. The hero Meehan formed the Crusaders 800 years ago as the Crimson Blades. Later, our ranks grew and we called ourselves the Crusaders. We've been fighting sin ever since. What? You've been fighting 800 years and you still haven't beat it? Well, we've steered Sin away from towns many times, and that's all we can do. Nobody's ever been able to defeat it. Our mission as Crusaders is to protect the temples, towns, villages, and people of Spira. So, then whose job is it to defeat Sin? Is Sin's toxin really this bad, sir? It does seem rather bad. We could just tell you, <laughs> but I think it better for you to try and remember. Go pray at the temple. Perhaps Yevon will help you regain your memory. Well, that didn't really uh, tell us a whole lot about what exactly we're doing. You know, what? I'm going to preemptively lower the gain of this microphone just a smidge. Let's try that out for size. I, I, don't, I don't know how much of a difference that's going to make, but we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and give that a shot. Anyway, we uh, pretty much have done everything that we can do up till now, um, and I believe if we walk in here, we have another cutscene. Go we'll present yourself to the temple summoner before we eat, yeah? Ah, that's right. We have to go talk to somebody in the temple. Forgot about that. Um, there might actually be another chest back here, if I'm thinking correctly. Um, nah, just an empty spot. What you got? Hey puppy, guess I can't talk to you. You're the talk of the town, you know. World travels fast in a village this size. Yeah, I suppose that makes sense. What about over here? Is there anything I can do over here? Mm, doesn't look like it. I thought there might have been an item looking at probably would have mentioned that, but oh well. I guess we'll go ahead and present ourselves to the temple summoner then. It was then, standing in that place. I 
began to realize how different this world was from my own. Yeah, I mean, I can only imagine there's there's a whole lot of different things about. Yeah, I mean, I can only imagine there's there's a whole lot of different things about this world than the one that you're used to. So things are are certainly bound to be a little bit different here. Ten years have passed since Lord Braska became High Summoner, and finally we receive a statue for our temple. Oh, what's a high summoner? It's a summoner that smokes weed. Uh, I, yeah. I got too close to Sin's uh, toxin. Oh. It was funny hearing myself make the same excuse over and over. Funny and a little sad. The summoners are practitioners of a sacred art. Sworn to protect the people of Yevon. Only a chosen few become summoners, who call forth entities of great power, the Aeons. The Aeons hear our prayers and come down to us. They are the blessing of Yevon. I don't know about that. Sometimes the Aeons are kind of a so pain in the ass. Was that we should respect some kind of great men, or something like that, I figured. Something I just noticed about that, if you paid real attention, they only, like, tracked some of Titus's footsteps, I think. I, I was paying close attention to that because I never really noticed it before, but I think that they didn't quite match up all of his footsteps the way they were supposed to, I think. Sorry, man. No time for lunch yet. Take a nap. You look pushed. Um, sure. I guess I'll take one. You could at least go see how they are doing. We can't interfere. It's a rule. But it's been nearly... A puff of white smoke later in a flashback. But it's been nearly... It's been nearly a day already. Perhaps you could go look for us. People are searching for him now. Thank you. Who cares whether he comes back or not? But he might die. Fine, let him. Do you? You hate him so? But if he dies, you'll never be able to tell him how much you hate him. Man, just looking at that cutscene, if you looked real close, his mom's mouth was never moving. <laughs> it's kind of funny. It's a detail I never noticed. There's a lot of details I'm actually like Walking. not noticing now that I'm playing through the HD remaster, like on a computer monitor that's like three feet away from my face. And now we are going to go do something known as the Cloister of Trials, which, uh, Cloister of Trials kind of sucks. These are, they're boring, they're not that interesting, there's a lot of things that could go wrong. Is something wrong? The summoner hasn't returned from the trial. Eh? Well, apprentice summoner, really. There's a room in there called the Cloister of Trials. Beyond is where the Apprentice Summoner prays. If the prayer is heard, the Apprentice becomes a fully-fledged Summoner. Remember? Uh, so someone is in there somewhere, and they haven't come back out. Right, I got it. A day's already gone by. Is it particularly dangerous in there? Sometimes, yes. Why don't you go in and help? There's already guardians in there. Besides, it's forbidden. Hey, but what if something happens? What if the summoner dies? The precepts must be obeyed. Like I care. Ooh. Not good. Not good at all. Maybe. This was I'm still trying to figure out exactly how I'm supposed all. to sit in front of this microphone, so I have to apologize if it's peeking out a little bit. 
Anyway, here we are, the Cloister of Trials. I'm gonna try to get through this thing relatively quickly. These kind of suck. Um, this first one isn't too hard. It's pretty easy, actually, and there is a bull. Um, early weapon that we can get for a party member that we're gonna get pretty soon here. So it's worth kind of paying attention and actually following what I do here now. Um, actually kind of following what I do here because important things happen. So we're gonna go ahead and touch this cliff. And that'll open up a wall. Now I, I really don't know why they call this place the Cloister of Trials if I'm being honest. I mean I guess it it has some trials. But we're going to go ahead and grab this sphere here. I, I'm trying to remember if I've done this all. Blue spheres can open the way to the Chamber of Faith. Destruction spheres open the way to a hidden treasure. And that's the thing that we care about. It also seems that uh, the Sade spheres are also necessary. So it's important that you um, that you grab in all of these spheres and kind of try them out in all sorts of locations. But if you follow what I'm doing, then you're going to know exactly what's going on. So. Uh, we actually have a Glyph Sphere here, so we're going to go ahead and drop this Glyph Sphere inside of this door. And that should open the door up. Now, unless I'm mistaken, we can actually grab... Yes, we can. We can grab this Glyph Sphere back out of the door, and it's not going to close it. Now, we can drop the Glyph Sphere in here. And that will open up this extra area. And if we take a look in here... We have a destruction sphere. So if we grab the destruction sphere and then we come back up here. Let's see, touch the symbols. You'll open up an extra area. So if we come in here, that's a besade sphere, which is actually something that we are going to need. If we come over here, it looks like there's supposed to be something over there. So. We will plug in that Besaid Sphere in Jack, and what we'll do is we'll go ahead and just drop this Destruction Sphere back in where we had it. We'll go ahead and grab this Sphere. We'll take it out, and what that'll do is it'll basically cause all power to go away from this little area. We plug it in here, and that should unlock this wall, which it does. But we don't want to push the sphere, or this pedestal, all the way in just yet. We need to... We need to go ahead and <clears throat> grab our reward with the destruction sphere first. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and grab the destruction sphere one more time. And we're going to take it back to the area where the besaid sphere was, right here. Go ahead and plug this thing back where it belongs. And something interesting will happen. It seems kind of redundant for them to have to constantly build that wall up every time they need to do the Cloister of Trials, since it's always going to get busted down. But anyway, we have obtained the Rod of Wisdom. Now, Rod of Wisdom is kind of an interesting one. Uh, none of our party members can use it between Tidus and Waka, so there's not actually a well, you would think there's not actually a point to it, but there definitely is a point to this weapon, and we'll we'll see that pretty soon. However, we're going to go ahead and call it quits. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy X. Catch you guys later.